Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is good. Viewers all over the world. You are all welcome. To our 30 minutes of hope. Wherever you are. You are all invited. Invite your neighbors. Invite your friends. We are here to encourage each other in the word of God. Before we proceed, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory for the grace to appear again in your presence. For the grace to share again the word of life. Mighty God, we commit this program in your hands. Lord, we ask for your presence to be, to be with us from the beginning to the end. Father, help my brother and my sister. Let this weight transform their lives. Let this weight heal their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, over to you. You are the best teacher ever. Teach us your way. And all all the glory will come back to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are praying. Let all the saints say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Precious people of God, without wasting our time, we are going to read the word of God. And today, Lelo, we are reading the book of First Chronicles, chapter 12, verse 32. 12, verse 32. First Chronicles, chapter 12, 1B, 12, and I'm reading verse 32. 32. The Bible says, Malimba, And of the children of Issachar, which were men, that had understanding of times. Amen. Amen. I want to stop there. The Bible says, Malimba, And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of times. Hallelujah. Amen. So the children of Issachar, they had a good understanding about time, about the season, about the situation. Hallelujah. Amen. Precious people of God, as the children of God, we must have good understanding of time. Hallelujah. Amen. And that will lead us to this message. Today I'll be talking about understanding of time. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to understand the time. We need to understand the season we are in. Hallelujah. Amen. By the grace of God, I want this message to help someone. Hallelujah. Amen. As a Christian, I have been hearing people saying, the season we are, it is the season of six double six. I have been hearing people saying the season we are in it is a season of great tribulation. I have been hearing people saying all manner of things. So I don't want you to be ignorant. I want you to understand the time we are in. Hallelujah. Amen. Because before God, there is no new thing. All these things we are seeing, whatever we are going through, there are prophecies in the Bible. And these prophecies, now they are coming to pass. That's what I am talking about. Understanding of time. 
Hallelujah. Amen. The scripture we have read, Malibu, the Bible, Bible says, Malibu, the Malibu. children of Issachar, Anna, Issachar, they had good understanding of time. Anna, they were aware of every season. Hallelujah. Amen. So I am here by the grace of God to share with you about understanding of time. Hallelujah. Amen. People of God, when you go to the book of John 14, John chapter 14, let me start from there. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said, starting from verse 1, let your heart not be troubled. You believe in God and believe also in me. Now verse 2. Jesus said, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have not told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus says, yes, I go Deepita. to prepare a place for you. Malo, I... Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that was the word of Jesus. That I am going to prepare a place for you. Malo, I... Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus. The yes, Christ. Going to prepare a place. And when you read the same book, you go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 3. Disciples, they came to Jesus in secret. They asked Jesus a question. We have heard you speaking about preparing a place. That you are going to prepare a place for us. So give us the sign of your coming. We need to know when you are coming back to establish your kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. And the answer is in the Bible. When you go again to Matthew 24, 24 verse 36, Jesus said, yes, About times, I don't know. Sinizio. Angels, Angelo. they don't know. Sadzio. Only my Father, who is in heaven, e knows about the time. Hallelujah. Amen. So these people, somewhere they were stranded because they wanted to know when Jesus is coming and the season that is going to establish his kingdom. But Jesus said, I don't know about time. Angels, they don't know about time. But only my father. Hallelujah. When you go again to Matthew 24, 24, verse 37, Jesus said, yes, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man. He gave an example of Noah. And when you go to verse 38, Jesus said, yes, Noah's time People were eating, people were marrying, people were drinking, and that was the time Noah was preaching to them. But few people were delivered, and the rest died. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother, my sister, I am talking about understanding of time. I want to explain the season we are in. Hallelujah. Amen. As Jesus ascended, when you read Acts chapter 1, the Bible says, as he was ascending, disciples were looking at him as he was ascending. And the Bible says, 
there appeared two men who were in the wine. And these people start revealing the secret. They say the same Jesus you are seen going today. He will come back in the same manner. Hallelujah. Amen. So the season we are in, we are waiting for his coming. Hallelujah. Amen. But no one is aware about Amen. time. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible says Amen. in the book of Matthew 24 verse 3, 24 verse 3 the Bible says Amen. when you start from verse 3. The Bible says Jesus spoke to them that I don't know about the time. But when you see these signs, when you see these things, you need to know that I am about to come. Hallelujah. So Jesus gave us some signs of his coming. About the day, we don't know. About the month, we don't know. About the year, we don't know. I remember some years ago, the year 2000, 2000. people are prophesying and this will be the end of the world. I could see people selling their properties. But it was not so. Why? Because no one is aware about the year, about the month, about the days. We are not aware. Only God is aware of that. Hallelujah. Amen. But Jesus gave us some signs that when you see these things, you need to know that I am about to come. And these are things I want to share with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we don't know the day. We don't know the man. We don't know about the year. But when you see these things, Hallelujah. Amen. So what are these things? So far. By the grace of God, I have discovered about the eight of Amen. them. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to share with you according to the time we will have today. Hallelujah. Amen. There are about eight of them. Maybe by the grace of God, I will share a few of them. And the everything I'm going to share with you, it is from the Bible. Because I want you to understand the time. I want you to understand the season. Many Christians are confused. Many Christians, they don't know what we are expecting. They don't know the season we are in. They don't know about time. Hallelujah. Amen. So, we are going back to the word of God. Because the word of God is our mirror. The word of God is our light. Everything we are sharing it has to come from the so word of God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. What is number one sign? Jesus said, yes, when you see these signs, I'm about to come. Sign number one, Jesus said, yes, there will be increase of false prophets and religious compromise within the church. Amen. Amen. There will be increase of false prophets, number one. And religious compromise within the church. We are going to find it in the word of God. We are reading Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Verse 4 and verse 5. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to this. Verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Now verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And shall deceive many. But the ambiri adza zamutina langa. Nadindi ne Christu nana miza ochuluka. 
verse 11. The Bible says, And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Hallelujah. Amen. That is sign number one. Jesus says, Many will come that we are Christ. We have heard Damba. in the world. Ziko. We have heard Damba. in our nation. Even some people claiming that they are Christ. But you and your Christ, yes. It is a prophecy the from the Bible. Don't be surprised when someone is saying, I am Christ. It's a prophecy. And that prophecy has to come to pass. Amen. We saw in verse 11 that there will be many false prophets and their aim is to deceive many people. Precious people God, this spirit is everywhere in the world. People are deceived in the name of prophecy. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to me. I'm not against the means of prophecy or the means of a prophet. But we are talking about the prophecy of Jesus Christ. That the many false prophets they will come and they will deceive many. They will deceive marriages. They will deceive businesses. They will deceive people. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. At the same point, religious compromise within the church. Christians who start compromising, they know the truth, but they will compromise. They know that this is evil, but they will compromise. They know that this is not the right way, but they will compromise. So we are in that season. Religious compromise from the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is sign number one. Many false prophets. They will increase and they will be religious compromise within the church. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord help us. What is sign number two? It is also in the Bible. Number two. Jesus says there will be increase of crime and disregard of God's law. Amen. Amen. There will be increase of crime and disregard of God's law. It is found in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 12. The Bible says and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Amen. Amen. Bible is talking about iniquity. Iniquity shall abound. And the, lo the love of many people will become cold. Hallelujah. Amen. We are talking about the increase of crime. People of God, you hear about the crime everywhere. Every time when you are on social media, you hear about the crime. You hear about the things that are happening in this world. It's a prophecy. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said, yes, when you see the increase of this, it is one of the signs. Hallelujah. Amen. That is number two. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus emphasized Amen. that people cannot respect the law of God. They know the laws of God, but they cannot respect them. May the Lord help our generation. This is sign number two. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to sign number three. What is number three? According to the Bible. Number three. Increase of woes. Famines. And the earthquake. Hallelujah. Amen. It is found in the book of Matthew. 
chapter 24, 24. we are reading verse 6 and verse 7. Hallelujah. Amen. This is where the word of Jesus is. Verse 6. Jesus said, You shall hear of wars and the rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. And the kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine. And the pestilence. And the earthquake in divine places. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Precious people of God. This is number three. Jesus prophesied that you will hear about wars. Nation will rise against nation. These things are happening everywhere in the world. You hear about wars. It's a prophecy from Jesus Christ. Not only wars. Jesus said you will hear about the famine. Precious people of God, the issue of famine, it is everywhere. People are crying. Things are not okay. Things are not working. Famine everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. You hear about earthquakes. We have been hearing about that everywhere. It is one of the signs that Jesus is about to come. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking about understanding of time. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want you to be distracted. The season we are in, all the prophecies of Jesus, they are coming to pass. That's why as a church, we need to be alert. As a church of God, we need to be ready. As a church of God, we are not supposed to be taken by surprise. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother, my sister, all the prophecies, they are coming to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. What is number four? Number four. Jesus is talking about yes, decrease of love and the family affection. Love will decrease and the family affection will go down. Amen. Amen. It is in the Bible. We are going to read two scriptures. Matthew chapter 10, verse 21. Then we'll go to Matthew 24, verse 12. We are starting with Matthew 10, verse 21. The Bible says, and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. And the father, the child. And the children shall rise up against their parents. And cause them to put to death. Amen. Amen. We are going to Matthew 24. 24. I want to combine these two scriptures. Verse 12. The Bible says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are at number four. Love will decrease. Family affection will go down. The Bible says, Brothers will rise against their brothers. We have been hearing about that. That this person was killed by the brother. Children will rise against their parents. It is happening. Parents will rise against their children. It is happening. And the Bible says, iniquity will increase. 
Hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking about understanding of time. Hallelujah. Amen. These things are happening. They are everywhere. They are happening. And these are prophecy confirmations. All the things that Jesus prophesied, they are coming to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want you to be surprised because all the things I have mentioned here, they are in the word of God. All the things I have mentioned here, they are coming from scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. I know this is a big topic. By the grace of God, we are going to share a few of them. And next week, we will continue. Hallelujah. Amen. We are talking about love decreasing. Hallelujah. Listen, people of God. You know, we are in a generation. We are in a season where someone can kill someone because he wants to achieve something. We are in a season where someone can betray his his brother can betray the sister. Why? Because the person wants to achieve something. Killing is not a problem. Destroying is not a problem. Why? It's a prophecy. Hallelujah. And Jesus emphasized about the family affections. Many families no affection. You will see people are just staying together, but the affection is not there. It's not there. I have been hearing people say, Man of God, I am in this marriage because I just want to take care of my children. If I can leave, my children will suffer. Affection is gone. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord help us. And we at this. You will see people are together. But they don't have affection for no, each no, other. No, That's no, why you see no, people no, are leaving their families. No, they are no, leaving no, their marriages. No, but they are going outside. No, why? No, there is no affection. No, All these things no, they were prophesied no, by Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother, my sister, I am talking about understanding of time. Listen to me as I'm about to close. The season we are in, all the prophecies, all the signs that Jesus gave us, they are coming to pass. And we are seeing them. By the grace of God, next week, I'm going to add to add four things because of time. But listen to me. My brother, my sister, be careful. Be ready. We are waiting the coming of Jesus Christ because all the signs they have come to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. I am here to encourage someone. My brother, my sister, there is a place that Jesus went to prepare for you and me. There is a place that Jesus has prepared for us. But I want you to understand the time we are in. Confirmation of prophecies. The word of Jesus Christ are coming to pass. And I have discovered all of them, everything that Jesus prophesied, they have come to pass. That's why Jesus said it will be like the time of Noah. People were eating, people were bathing, people were drinking, people were married, and that was the time God came down. Hallelujah. Amen. And the few people were saved. So my brother, my sister, wherever you are, by the grace of God, I want you to have understanding of time. I want you to understand the season we are in. I want you to understand that we are waiting for the coming of Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, may the Lord give you grace. So wherever you are, you are watching me. You have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. I want to give you this opportunity. 
And listen to me. Before I close. Thank you. You agree with me. This season. You hear about it. Death. Every day. Death. Everywhere. I'm telling you. The season we are in. Death is everywhere. You hear someone who was not sick, the person just slept, and in the morning, he could not wake up. So I am here to help someone. Please, give your life to Jesus. All these things, we are going to leave them. All these houses, we are going to leave them. All these cars, we are going to leave them. I want you to receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. So if you have not yet received Jesus, today is your day. I want you to repeat this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. Jesus, forgive me all my sins. Jesus, wash me with your precious blood. Jesus, remove my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Jesus, give me power to continue. Give me power to walk in you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Mighty God, I commit this precious spirit in your hands. By your mercy, remember them. By your mercy, give them grace to understand the time we are in. Give them grace to understand the season we are in. Give them grace to understand your time. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the grace of God, I pray for you. May the Lord give you grace. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord bless your family. May the Lord bless your children. May the Lord bless your career. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the grace of God, I'm seeing you moving forward. By the grace of God, I'm seeing your life changing for good. By the grace of God, you are moving forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed. Shalom. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord increase you. Keep watching. Go TV. Next Thursday, we are continuing with this message. May the Lord bless you. Amen and amen. Amen.